Hello everyone, I'm Chin and you can call me Ken. Welcome back to Victor Engine Battle Motion Tutorial Part 2. And this time I'm going to teach you how to show an animations. And also I'm going to tell you how to let the sequence effect shown. So now let's just have a look. So when I hit the enemy, there will be animation shown in different sequence. So when I hit it, So first the prepare, then the execute, then the attack, and finished, then I return. And how to show the animation, it was quite simple, just add one more action inside your sequence. And this action is just called animation. So you just put animation inside, and then choose the subject you want, and I use O target, and this O target here means the enemy you just select. And why it was the enemy you just select was let's just look at the skill and look at the attack, and let's look at the scopes over here. The scope is one enemy. So now this O target just means that enemy you just select. Then the animation ID 121 will show. And then later just wait for this animation to the end and clear this battle lock. And go to the next stage, the movement. And inside the movement, nothing new. Just show some text, move, wait, and clear this battle lock. And go to the next. Then it was the execute. And I also put an animation inside the execute. And this time I want user to show this animation ID 122. And then wait for these animations. And I want my enemy to have an animation ID 17. And wait for this. And then clear this one. Then it was how you show your effect sequence to show the effect sequence just put an action here and this action is just the name action then after the actions the subject just use old target and finally just put the name effect so with this actions you could call these action sequence effect and when you call this, then let's just go to the effect sequence. Inside the effect sequence, first I'll just show attacks and then an animation. Then just clear this battle lock. And when I finished, I also show an animation over here. It was ID 36. And this animation is really big, so it will just be a whole screen. So this one you could just set to anyone because this animation is really big. Then just wait for the animations and then clear this battle lock. Then finally you return. So with this, you can just have an animation and you can call your sequence of facts. So let's just take a look one more time. Animations, 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 and animation. And that's all for this tutorial. If you like it, please thumbs up or subscribe. Thank you very much.